Hello, guys. Hold on, guys. Let me fix the camera. What's up, guys? How are you doing? How are you doing? Hi, David. Good evening. Hello, Mario. Happy Father's Day, Mario. <laughs> A little early. <laughs> A little early. What's up, man? How was your day? Yeah, good. I, I got a chance to relax. Did you uh, did you see your father? I didn't get the chance to. He, I called him yesterday to arrange a, a lunch with him, but he was gonna work today, so. Oh, he was I'm gonna probably, work today. Got it. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna see him maybe Sunday, hopefully. Okay. All right. Right. Yeah. Sounds good, man. I think there's something wrong with my camera. Hold on. Oh my god, dude. There you go. It seems weird. Okay. So uh hey, well thank you for coming guys. How was uh, how was your day, Elena? Uh hello. Um well we have lunch with my father and then um <laughs> okay. Oh that's good, that's good, that's good. Have you been Have you been going out, or have you stayed home? Uh, no, we well, I went to my parents' house. Oh, okay, all right, sounds good. What about you, Catherine? How are you doing? Everything is great. Thank you for asking. All right, about Father's Day. Sorry. Everything is great or gray? Great. All right. <laughs> Everything is great about Father's Day. He's about to come, so I hope to see him because I haven't seen him since 5 a.m. Oh, okay, all right, sounds good. I'm glad that you're gonna see your father. <laughs> what about you, Kevin? Uh, my day was boring again. <laughs> I was working all day. All right, it's all a right. little tired. Sounds good, man. Thank you for coming, Nedenia. What about you? How was your day, Irene? Hi, my day was a little bit busy because I went to San Salvador to buy some products for my my husband's business. Okay, so all right. It so was it was busy. Sounds good. Well, all right. Well, nice to have you here, Francisco. How are you, man? How was your day? You're muted. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Um, it's a day with my family in Father's Day. So we share with uh, my uncle, my sister, and everybody of my family. All right. It was that's nice. Good, man. That's good. That's good. What about you, Fatima? All good? You're muted, Fatima. I'm sorry. Well, to me, it has been a normal day, I think. All right, all right. Did you get to say hi to your father? Yes, I called him. Oh, you called him? All right. Sounds good, sounds good. Thank you for coming. Diana, hello, Diana. How was your day? Hello. I, I had a really nice day because I work with my dad. So we were, we were celebrating and working. So oh, it was okay. really good. <laughs> all right, that's good, that's good, all right. Yeah. Danielle, what about you, Danielle? Good. Hello. Thank you. you. I'm fine. Thank you. You're good. Hey. What do you do for What do you do for Father's Day? Oh, you're a father. Ah, right? You have with, kids. Yes, sure. Happy Father's Day, man. Ah, I I ate a gallina India. Oh, you ate gallina <laughs> India. <laughs> yes, that was very delicious. Yeah, man, I yes, like Yes, thank you. That's good, man, that's good. I'm glad that you had a good day. Jose, welcome, Jose. How was your day? All good, brother? Thank you, teacher. All is good. All is good. My God, I feel it's too hot today. All right, but that's, uh, that's good. So, guys, I'm glad to have you here. So let's continue where we left off yesterday. All right. Uh, everybody go to section 4.3. So we're going to be looking at, hold on, we'll have the presentation here. All right, so we were, we're going to continue where, um, with the topic from yesterday, guys. With the topic.
There you go. All right, guys. So, okay, so yesterday we were seeing uh, what's the topic, Francisco? Uh, the passive to describe a process. Okay, the passive to describe a process, right? All right, so we already saw this, guys. Um, so, guys, what do we use this for? Francisco, pick someone. Uh, Elena Mata. Elena. What do we use this for, Elena? To describe process. To describe processes. Very good job, right? And we we told we said that we need a model, right? We need a model and um, and what else, guys? The model, the verb to be. The model, verb be plus plus verb to be. Okay, all right, good job, good job, good job, okay. All right, so let's review, let's review the passive model, guys. First of all, uh, what can we do with passive models? Uh, Jose, help me read. Uh, with the review of passive. Uh-huh. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Okay, and first of all, we two, don't know who does the action. The door of the action is not important. Good job. Pronunciation, guys. Door? How do you pronounce it? No, do doer. 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 How, do we, how do you pronounce it? Doer. 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 All right. Doer. doer. Doer, not door. Doer. doer. Door is like the one you have in your house. Doer. Okay, the doer of the action, the person who does the action. All right. So, um, <clears throat> do my favorite, guys. If you have not written down the structure, let's write it down right now. Diana, help me read. Okay. Basic pa passive, B plus past participle. As a scene isn't filmed just once. A scene isn't filmed just once. Okay, are we following, guys? Are we following the, the structure here? Yes, we are. Where yes, do you, yes. Where do you see the verb to be? Yeah. Isn't, 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 good job, okay, so we got B over here, okay, and then uh, do we see a past participle, yes or not? Yes, filmed, yes, 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 yes. Film. Okay. film, okay, all right, yes, all right, so film would be the past participle in this case, right, all right, what about the second one, guys, only the best shots, only the best shots are used, it's, are you, are, are you, are. good are you? job, okay, <laughs> are, okay, is the participle is used. And then we got the past participle. Good job, okay? Yeah. So far, so good? Yes. I'm going quick, guys, because yes. I'm, I'm just doing a quick review from yesterday, okay? All right, guys, so now passive with models, remember? Uh, we were talking about models yesterday. Real quick, guys, because you told me the models yesterday. Uh, give me one model. Um, let's see, Elena, give me one model. Um, maybe must. Maybe what? Must, okay, must. What else, guys? Must. Could. Could. Should. Should. Okay, should. Call. Could. All right, could might. is right here. Might, okay, might. Might. So on and so forth, okay? Can we use models in the future? Will. Can we say will? No. Yes, guys, we can use will. Yes, will is model. Yes. Yes. Okay, well, we can say would, we can say can. Pretty much, guys, you can use all the models that there is, okay? Uh, that you know. All right? And then again, guys, the verb to be, which is? I'm, um, is, are. Okay, good job, all right? all right? Good job. And then any past participle verb, okay? Now, let's take a look at the example. Daniel, help me read the example. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Good job, guys. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Uh, repeat, guys. One scene. One scene. One scene. One scene. From five to six different angles. From five to six different angles. Okay, good job, guys. Is it following the rule? Yes. 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 Okay. Where do you see the model here? May. May. Good job. Okay. May. May. Where do you see the verb to be? 
B. 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 Where B. do you see the past participle? Shot. 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 Good job. Now we can add over here, guess one scene would be the what, guys? The subject. Be the, uh, the subject. Good subject. job, okay? The subject. Now from five different angles, what would that be? Compliment. Uh, okay. Compliment. Compliment. Good job. So at the end, guys, we can say it's actually subject, or actually in this case, the object of the sentence, guys, plus the model. Model. Plus the verb be, plus past participle. Plus participle. Plus compliment. Plus compliment. Okay. Plus compliment. Okay. Remember, guys, what, what, what is, like, why are we seeing this, guys? What is, uh, what is the main purpose of learning passive with models? What do we use them for? To describe the process. process. Okay, guys, so there you go. Okay, so every time you describe a process, okay, you can use passive models for this. Any questions so far? No. Okay, good job, good job, good job, okay. All right, so let's talk, guys, right? I want you to describe a short process. Um, a process about doing something, guys. Maybe, um, what, what type of process? Think about it, guys. Someone give me, give me any, any type of process. Think about one idea and then we're gonna break it down. Make a sandwich. What, making a sandwich, good job, good job, okay. Okay, <clears throat> making a sandwich. Okay, so what if you wanted to describe the process about making a sam sandwich? How could you use a model, how could you use a passive model here? You can say sandwiches may be considered. Am I following the rule? Yes. Yes. Okay. An exquisite. I think it's exquisite. Exquisite. Yes, it is. It's correct. All right. An exquisite uh, dish in Australia. I'm just making that up, guys. <laughs> We can say, all right, pupusas, right, pupusas, that's good, right, pupusas, that's true, right, pupusas may be considered a exquisite dish in Australia, all right? Yeah. All right. So, right. this is my example. Let me, let's, let's use another example. What else, guys? What else can we use a process with? Uh, ingredients. Ingredients. Uh, okay, a sandwich. Okay, a sandwich. Um, a sandwich, what right? How many be prepared? Okay, good job, good job. A sandwich can be prepared with different ingredients. They want ingredients, 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 not not ingredients, 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 and then ends, ingredients. Ingredients. Okay, with different. I'm sorry. With different. All right. With different ingredients. Okay. And then, guys, then you don't need to be using the model of all over again. Okay. I want you to sound natural. All right. How can I say, for example, guys, without saying, for example? For instance. Such for instance. as. Mm. Everyone. Such as. Such as. Okay, and then uh, you can talk about. Um, uh, slices, slices of slices of bread. Mm -hmm. All right. Tomato. Slices of bread, slices of tomato, uh, lettuce, um, cucumber, cucumber, bread. cucumber. All right. Um, uh, you you ham. Put on, all right, ham. Hey guys, what is the meaning between ham and jam? <laughs> the, um, it's a meat. And jam is. Yes, yeah. yeah, jam is sweet, right? Like marmalation, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes, yes. All right, so all right, so you know what to do, guys. Okay. Any question, guys? Any question? Sean sincero, ¿qué no entendió? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, man. Kevin, you good? Was, yeah. You good? A little. A little. A little what? Confused? When you describe process, you need to give an order or you can start for the last or for the beginning. 
Um, hold on, guys. Guys, I, whoever has nice background, guys. Sorry, they're my favorite. Uh, I, I'll be honest with you, man. I did not understand the question, so if you could be so kind to rephrase it. So what was your question? If we have to give a order when I describe in process, like what is first and what is second and last and about that. When you describe process, always uh, have to give a order. Guys, did anybody, all right, uh, I, I, I'm not, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I think he's asking about the steps. If you have to mention the steps one by one when you describe a process, I think. Is that what you you're asking me, Kevin? Yes. <laughs> yes. You have to mention the step one by one. How so? I'm not, I'm, okay, so uh, no, I'm honestly not understanding. So this is this is like I'm not understanding, man, with your question. I'm sorry. Irene, mm -hmm. could you give me an example of what he's asking? Or Francisco or anyone? David, uh, I think um, Kevin is asking how to make how to make a step by step the sandwich. The thing is that what is going to be first, uh, like a slice of bread, then you put the lettuce on the bread, then you put the mustard or everything like that. I, I guess that is trying to say. All right, are you asking me how to make a sandwich, Kevin? It's about if uh, when you describe a process, you have to be a specific about how do you make it. Okay, all right. I think I understand now. All right, listen, just, si te alguien te pregunta cómo haces un sándwich, pensar que le dijeras, and that's what you have to do, all right? If you want to be, of course, you have to be specific. Hey, mira, le echas, eh, agarras dos panes, le untas mayonesa, le pones tomate, right? Things like that, right? So it's the same thing that you have to do. All right, no hay una regla que dice, mira, tenés que seguir este paso primero para hacer un sandwich. No, just explain how to make a sandwich, right? Um, that's it. This is just an example on how you can start a sentence. Como, este es un ejemplo de cómo puedes iniciar una oración, right? At, uh, cuando vas a hablar de un proceso, right? Después de eso, such as, okay. and, bueno, ahí dan las instrucciones, right? Empezas, uh, such as, you know, um, slices of bread, slices of tomatoes. So first of all, y después Benicio dice, first of all, primero, agarrar dos panes, right? You take the two slices of bread, then you spread some mayo over on top of one of them, all right? So then you start giving instructions, right? Um, about anything, this is not only for a sandwich. Did that answer your question, Kevin? Yes, thank you. All right, sounds good. Let's practice, guys. You got five minutes and then we come back. Okay. Let's go. Describe process or something like that. Could okay. be when you take a money from a cashier. Yes. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good one. Yes. I try. So we, yeah, you can I, try. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Uh, when you you need a money, you look a, a cashier, cashier or at ATM. Yeah, an ATM. Yes. ATM. But we have to use the model. Uh, we have to use the structure. Yeah, remember and the structure. Yeah, ah, remember okay, the structure, okay. because we have yes. to do it the same. Do you remember the last time we were together that we, we put in the screen the structure and we start to doing the, the exercise? Yes, okay. Okay, okay. let's do it. Okay, uh, when I need uh, money, I should look at ATM. 
Look. So, because you have to be ready for all your your students to learn and also they are going to ask you some questions that's why you have to prepare it um, thinking about the possible questions that they are going to ask and as i was telling you the class must be prepared uh, before because you have to find all the tools and all the resources that you are going to use and you can use prepare with with sauce or uh, with cream, uh, uh, you you have to use a uh, different different ingredients uh, like uh, cream or if you want you can use butter butter butter. How do you say mantequilla? Butter, yeah. Butter. Uh, yeah. Butter. Oh, if you want you can put sauce. Sauce. So, so, yeah. Um, You're right. Related to to how they how can they be sent how they can be sent maybe emails uh, can be sent through and there you go they explain in the process how to send them okay uh, once the email is, uh, is written to, um, it can be sent to the recipients, I don't know. I don't know. Through internet, through the internet, yes, of course. Okay. Um, I don't know. Well, uh, it would talk. Uh, I don't think any other ideas about written and written and, and email. Directed out of thousands of different shoots. Direction, okay. Number. Eleven. Son after Eleven. the film has been a die a died. Music be composed and sound Com effect are added. Okay. Number two. So, after the film, after the film we finished. It's finished. Hey, what's up, guys? What's okay. up? Remember that okay. we're still not doing the exercise, guys. You're supposed to, to practice right now the uh, process, okay? We're going to have a time for uh, um for the exercise soon, all right? Okay, later. Do not do the exercise, guys. Do not do the exercise right now, all right? Okay. We're going to do it later. Thank so you. it's just practice. About practice, practice, examples. practice, practice. Yes. Okay. You have to yes. You have to order everything exactly. in your mind. Do you want to be typed? On the yes, what happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> Nothing, man. We're learning here. We're, we're practice. <laughs> we're practice. Yeah. We're practicing. We are practicing. We are practicing. We are practicing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We, we are like a gringos or like a beaners. Yeah, Mar <laughs> Mario, Mario and Francisco are very good. Um, you have to open your mouth, Daniel. Open your mouth. You, you don't have to talk fast, you know. It's not about talking fast. It's about talking understandable. Understandably, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so, okay. So, um, so try to relax when you're talking, you know. <laughs> yes, I'm very nervous when I, I, I have the turn. I I very confused because I I can compre my comprehension is not very well. <laughs> All right, my comprehension is not very good. All right, very good. All right, no no no, hables muy rápido, así como the don't, okay. Tampoco hables yeah, pausado, yes. right? Like elongate, you have to elongate the words, right? Okay, um, okay. And open your mouth a lot. All right. Sure, sure, okay, All yes. Right. We're gonna sure. go back now, guys. Right? Let's go. Okay. okay. All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, um, no, 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 no. let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. This thing. All right, guys, so number from uh, one to 10, uh, number from one to 10, Mario. 
Mm, three. Nope. Kevin. Kevin, number from Nine. one to ten, Kevin. No, all right. Danielle. Nine. You're muted. Oh, there you go. Number ten. Number ten. Seven. 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 No, okay. Number seven. Okay. Uh, Lena, one to ten. You're muted. Remember, guys, that you are muted, right? Uh, four? No, Guillermo. One to ten, Guillermo. Yes, teacher. Number from one to ten. Guillermo. Sí, okay. Number from one to ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The final. <laughs> <laughs> the, the final field? What? You see on, on the screen. No, 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 right. No. Just say a number. All right, Francisco, let's go. Don't worry, I'm with Francisco. Okay. Number from one to ten. A five. No, Irene. Two. No, Dana. <laughs> ten. No, Catherine. Eight. Oh. Hey. My God, Fatima. Um, five. No, Jose. One. No, Moises. <laughs> All right, thank you, Moises. Moises, right. <laughs> Let's go. Give me your example, Moises. Give me a process. Let's go. 30 seconds, man. Go. Everybody right now in the on the chat room. All right. Write down your own examples. So send it to send it to the chat room. Moises, give me your okay. example. Let's go. Moses. All right, let's go. Uh, you know what? Fatima, let's go. Hello, Fatima. Hello. All right, let's go, Fatima. So, well, today I'm going to talk about Photography. I think that photography must be considered as an art because you can take photographies in different angles, for example, lay down or something like that. And also you can take photographies in different places, for example, on the street, on the park, in the beach. So that's why I think that photography must be considered as an art. So that's all. Good job, plus for Fatima, guys. Good job, Fatima. Good, good, good job. Okay. All right, guys. Remember to send in your own examples too. Uh, thank you, Elena. Uh, Mario, in order to make a great omelet, first it should be cooked on a slow fire to avoid burning it. Good job, Mario. <laughs> An email should be written before it's sent. Uh, good job. Uh, I should be typed my pin to take money from ATM. Uh -uh. All right, now we're going to correct this, uh, but give me one second, okay? All right, good job. I should be typing. Yes, right. Actually, it's I should input, okay, or type in my PIN code, all right? But the, the verb is type in, type in, yes. not type it. Okay? Yes, you're right. All right, so uh, Fatima, right? Just open your mouth a little bit, exaggerate those, those words because you said considered instead of considered. All right, you have to listen. You have to listen to that P at the end. How do you say it, Fatima? Okay. Considered. Good job. Okay. In the beach, preposition, guys. At the beach. At the beach, guys. Okay. At, at the, the beach. The beach is not a beach, beach guys. guys. Don't say bitch. Okay. Beach. <laughs> all right. Good job. All right. Applause for Fatima, guys. Good job, Fatima. Woo -hoo. All right. Fatima, pick someone else. Um. Daniel Aquino. Daniel, let's go, Daniel Aquino. I'm here. 
All right, give me your example. Okay. Uh, I should be taking money from the cash ATM. Yeah, I have to I have to introduce <clears throat> sorry. I have to introduce my my pins. After that I have to to select my account mm -hmm. and I have to uh, I to give the quantity of money and I could uh, request a receipt receipt. What? Receipt? Or ticket? <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And what? What else? What else? I have to close the transaction. Okay. Good job. Plus, guys. Good, good, good job. Okay, all right. Okay, guys. So, uh, let's see. Mario, Mario. Help me read uh, and, and tell me. So, all right. So, what I want you to understand, guys, is that you have to focus on what you are saying, okay? You're literally saying, debería haber, I should be taking, debería, debería estar tomado dinero de, no, but not tomando, because tomando would be taken, not taken, right? All right, so, tomado. exactly, debería estar to, eh, tomado dinero de la ATM. Yo tengo que introducir mis pines de eso. Pues de eso tengo que seleccionar mi cuenta y tengo que tengo no sé qué, ahí no te entendí. La cantidad de dinero. Yo podría I have to in the quantity of money. Yo podría solicitar un recibo y yo I have to close the transaction. Tengo que, que cerrar la transacción. So if I if I talk to you like that in Spanish, would you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So now the structure is this. Okay. So remember, guys, we're trying to describe a process, right? It's okay, man. All right. You're you're practicing. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Okay. All right. So you're trying to say you got you're trying to give the instructions on how to take money out of the ATM. Okay. So how could you how could you improve this, uh, Mario? How could you say, how could you start? Let me see. Um, maybe I would start with, um, in order to take money from the ATM. Good job, right? In order to take money from the ATM, right? Do my favor, uh, my, um, Daniel, write it down, okay? Uh, in order to take money from the ATM. Mm -hmm. um, you should, um, let me see, how do I use the, the example of passive? Mm. You can say, you should be typing. Money from the ATM can be taken. Can, guys, actually guys, ¿cuál es, el, ¿cuál es el verbo para decir sacar de, del ATM? Porque hay un verbo específico para eso. Withdraw. Withdraw. Good job, withdraw. Good job. What is the past participle of withdraw? Withdrawn. Okay. Withdrawn. How, with, okay. How do you spell it? W I H H E R A W N. Okay. Why? Right. Just one. Catherine, how do you say it? After what you have typed, D R A W N. Good job. Withdrawn. Okay. Good job, guys. Withdrawn? Money from the ATM can be withdrawn, okay, and then you can say by typing in your PIN number, okay, and then after this, Daniel, you say, after that, uh, you select the quantity of money you'd like to withdraw, all right? Now, this is the verb, okay? Sacar dinero, withdraw. Got it? Withdraw. Like to withdraw and then, etc. okay? And then you continue with by it. The, by the way, David. Tell me. Give me your credit card and PIN number. <laughs> 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 
in your dreams, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, it's all right, man. All right. So, uh, good job, Daniel. Daniel, now give me another example, Daniel. Keep sending me your examples, guys. Uh huh. Okay. Um, to brush my teeth. Uh huh. Uh, to brush my my teeth, I have to. I have to take. I have I have to take my my brush my brush this. My toothbrush. 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 I want toothbrush. 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 My toothbrush, and I have to put. Uh, Okay, now this is not bad, Daniel, but we're not following the example. Okay, so you can say, uh, yeah, you can say, um, to brush, you can start like this to, to brush your teeth, uh -huh. to brush your teeth, um, to brush your teeth first, you must, um, you must what, guys. You must have a toothbrush. You must have teeth. <laughs> you, must have a tooth. you must you must have a toothbrush. Okay, you must have a toothbrush. All right. Um, right. And then what else? How can toothpaste? And toothpaste. Okay. You must a toothbrush, a toothpaste. Okay. Uh huh. What else? And water. And water. Okay, and water, all right? All right, and then you might, how do you say gargara, guys? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you say it again, please? All right, brushing your teeth <laughs> must be done. See, so now you can do it like this. Brushing your teeth must be done very carefully in order to avoid any injuries all right so this is another example we're not we're not starting with the passive with models but you have the example here right so it's another way to to uh to talk about a process right all right so practice that daniel because we have a we have a we have an exercise to do right now so applause for daniel guys good job good job good job right good job man don't worry don't worry you'll learn that eventually okay just practice all right guys so let's move on guys to the exercise, um, but before that, let's check one of your examples. So, Jose, a good salad can be prepared with uh, fresh vegetables. Good job, Jose. Erenia, a lesson can be prepared using different virtual tool tools. Good job. Diana, a really good rice can be cooked using cylinder and green chili pepper. Good job. Kevin, the good letters are written for a creative person. The good letters are written for a creative person. Okay, that's good. I'm not sure if you try to say the right idea there. Las buenas cartas son escritas para una persona creativa. All right? I mean, it's okay. The grammar structure is okay, but I'm not sure if you try to use from a, by a creative person, por una persona creativa. I don't know if you try to say that. Uh, how to draw first a doodle must be done. Then we ink the lines we did. Then the sketch should be erased after this. All right, good job. The sketch should be raised after this. Good job, Catherine. Uh, Moises, a good hamburger can be done with a lot of onion and tomato. Good job, good job. Good examples, guys, good examples, all right? All right, so let's go to the following exercise, right? All right, any questions so far, guys? Any questions? I don't know, no. All right. No, everything's great. So you got seven minutes, guys, 4.4. .4. Let's finish, okay? Let's go, let's go. All right, let's go. Francisco. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? What's up, Eric? Your, par your partner is coming, man. What's up? How are you? 
Kevin is supposed to be here, but I don't know what happened. I'll get you together with, oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Diana. Hello. Hello, Irenia. I'm sorry, Kevin was supposed to be here. Okay. Um, but I don't know where he is right now. Hold on. How are you, Irenia? I'm great. I'll get you with somebody else because Kevin, I'm not sure what happened to Kevin, right? Okay. To be divided. Yes, I think it's to be divided. Into okay. scenes. Mm -hmm. The film details need to... Mm, need to be I don't know written need out. to be written out written out I think yes okay number three source an outline of the script has to be prepared has has to be prepared yes do make sense with that actors are i think this one is actors are chose the number four yes because i think in this one we must use the verb to be and then plus participle without the without the model I think. I don't know what do you think about this. I think I don't know. Or so we should check it. Or I don't know. I think because we're talking in both participle. Yeah, in both of them, in both of them we must use the past participle, but well, I am I am saying this because in the past examples the model has been already provided and here we don't have the model. That's the reason why I'm saying that in for this case we should use the the just the verb to be and the past participle like next actors are chose. However, I'm not pretty sure about this. I think on the on the on the first three ones, um, it has no model because past um past past two is not a model; it's a verb. Yes, do need to or also is a verb. I think. Yes, you you are right. I I noticed that you're right. So, what would you suggest? I think I don't know. I think in the four we have to use the model, model the verb to be and the past participle. So you can put oh. next after to be chosen. I think. I don't know. Mm, yeah, we can, we can, we can answer it like also, that. Number five is also uh, the same structure. Structure. Location should be fixed or could be fixed. I don't know. Mm, yes, locations should be picked yeah it it has sense it, it makes sense sorry so well let's do it like that and well if it is not correct we can also say we can also change it when if the system says it is not the right they are not the right answers but if they are it will be really really nice yeah okay number six
Number six, customers, sorry, customs uh, can be designed or customs should be designed. Filming can then begin. And for the number five, I think that I move dialect coat in the most. Sorry, I can't hear you very well. I think your eyes breaking up. There, there is a door outside breaking. And now, can you hear me? Now I can, I can hear you well. Okay. Why you? Ah, it's the same yeah. like me. I have to, I, I have to move to different place to, to hear, because all the time I have to, to stay outside the house. For, <laughs> for <hear> the class. <laughs> but you make some uh, Wi-Fi, or you put some uh, con el datos. Con datos. Ah. Uh, they, I don't have Wi-Fi. Ah. Uh, so okay. I have to move to different place, and when it's raining, it's it worse. Yes, yes, it's, you have reason about it. What is your company? I changed for Claro. Before I, I was, I, I had Tigo, but it, the signal is bad, so I changed to Claro. It's, it's better. Just, just him. Yes, they all have the, the ED uh -huh. because they uh, are regular. Okay. What's up, Jess? Did you finish? Okay. Okay, yes, teacher. You did? Okay. Yes. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Why did you not join, man? All right, guys, welcome back. All right, did you did you all finish? No. I, yeah, I saw people with a lot of issues here, guys. Okay. All right, guys, so tell me. Tell me. All, right, all right, there you go. All right, guys, so tell me which ones you had most issues with, guys. Because not everybody finished, okay? So I need to know which ones did you have most issues with. Who didn't finish, guys? Me, teacher. Me, Who teacher. Did not? Okay. Mm. So, Rania, which one is giving you the most trouble? The number four. Number four, okay. Mm -hmm. Next actors. Okay, all right. All right. All right chosen. Uh, is this the only one that's giving you troubles? Uh, actually, I just uh, completed one, two, and three. Okay, okay, right. What happened to the rest? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> do you need more time, guys? Yes, I finished. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we finished. Mario, you're, so you're, you're a teacher, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You're a teacher, man. Of course, you're gonna finish. All right, guys, so let's let's complete it all, okay. All right, number one, Mario. Teacher Mario is gonna teach us. Okay, let's go, Mario. Okay. To complete the script, it has to be divided into scenes. It has to be divided. Good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just gonna. So voy a seleccionar quien sea que vea how it was, right? Like I'm just gonna go one by one. My Francisco, let's go. Second one. First thing I can see, man, is oh, I, I'm sorry. too small. I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> okay, the filming details need to need to be written. Need to be written. Written out. Written out. Good job. Yeah, written out. Yes. Right. Written out. Okay. Yeah, sure. Written uh, out. Number three, Elena. The number three. First, an outline of the script has to be prepared. To be prepared. Good job. And number four, Irenia. 
I want to see what, what happened on number four. <laughs> uh, I was trying with next actors must be chosen. Okay, next, okay. Actors must be chosen. Is that is this is this the right answer, guys? Yes. No. no. It's grammatically correct, but it's not the right answer. Are chosen. What are what is are chosen? Are chosen. Okay. Are chosen. Good job. Okay. Are chosen. Okay. Right. All right. So the verb to be plus past participle, right? But I understand why you chose that answer, Adenia. Good job. Uh, Catherine, continue fi a fifth one. Locations are picked. Good job. Locations are picked. Okay. Number six, Jose. Costumes are designed. Filming can they be in? All right. Costumes are designed. Okay. Number seven. Um, uh, um, Guillermo. You're muted, Mr. Santos. The online is to, the online is expiry. All right, the outline. And the outline. Uh-huh, the outline. By expiry, is to exist. Okay, all right, the outline must, must be expanded. Is that what you're saying? Like this must be expanded. This, the oil line is finally expanding. All right, all right. Remember, guys. Getting... Okay, all right, all right. Uh, guys, is this the right answer? Good job, good job, Guillermo. Is this the right answer? Must be expanded. Mm. No, it is, but it's grammatically expanded. correct. <laughs> the the Alan is expanded. It's expanded. Okay, into a script. Good job, good job, good job. Guys, the reason the reason why, guys, is because we're not using we're not using the models on these exercises. Okay. All right. Now, number eight. Um, uh, let's see, Fatima. After the script is completed. Good job. Is completed. All right. Good job, uh, Eric. Eric. All right, Kevin. Moises. Oh, Kevin, there you are. Okay. The director is hired. Is hired. Hi everyone hired. 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 All right, pronounce it. Hired. No, no, guys. No, it's not <laughs> hired. 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 Number 10, Jose. Jose. Number 10. The final film you see on the screen is created by the director and editor, editor out of thousands of different shots. Good job, good job, right? Uh, Diana, give me 11 and 12. Okay. Soon after the film has been edited. Edited. Mute. Edited. Music is composed and sound effects are added. Okay, it's composed. Good job. And the last one? After the filming is finished, the different shots can, can then be put together. Good job, guys. Good, good job, guys. All right. All right. Easy peasy, right? Hey, Debbie. Tell me. Would be most easy if you can write down on the directions on the platform uh, that you can uh, put uh, this is not with models <laughs> yeah yeah no I, I understand i understand but i don't do the tests yeah <laughs> I know, I, man. I, 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 <laughs> right. all right guys but uh everybody good all right yes okay, yes good job good job all right guys so what time is it oh we only have three minutes guys okay so tomorrow, guys, we're gonna finish the, the basically, guys. Tomorrow we're gonna finish section four. Um, do not move forward, guys. Do not finish before 
I mean, do not do not do the exercises that we are not doing right now. Okay. Tomorrow we're gonna do this and we're gonna finish the rest of the of the plat of the platform. Okay. I mean the 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 section. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. Any questions, guys? Any questions? All good. No. All right. All right. Everything is good. too short. One hour, man. It's what? It's too short. It's too short. An hour. Yes. yes An hour is too short for a class. Yes, I know, man. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, I guys, if you, I don't know. You have your own objective as to why you want to learn English. Um, but if you want to learn English because you want a better job position or something like that, or something like that, guys, um, practice with uh, with other people who talk. Like practice talking, not not so much grammar, guys. Practice talking and imitate. If you ask any gringo, guys. Ningún gringo sabe que es un present perfect, right? Past participle. Like, what? What? What the hell is that, right? Ni uno en español pretérito perfecto indefinido, right? Like right? you're not thinking about that. You're just imitating, right? Um, okay. Like yo no sabía qué significa chat agua, right? O sea, ese vocabulario es like you have to ask porque no tiene nada de sentido, right? Hasta ahora que soy mayor me vine a dar cuenta qué significaba porque lo había escuchado toda la vida. Nunca había entendido, right? So practice, guys, practice. You get new vocabulary like that, right? So, um, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for joining. I'll see you tomorrow early to finish section number four, all right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you, guys. See you, see you, see you. Take care, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.